This is the Wii Boy Rev 3. It's a small Wii Portable built to look like a DMG Game Boy. It uses real Nintendo Wii hardware and plays games full speed with no emulation. The Wii motherboard is trimmed down to fit, and the power management circuitry and controller are made as compact as possible. It features a 3.5 inch VGA display, nearly 3 hour battery life, speakers and headphones jack, and a USB-C port for awesome features like power delivery charging and an internal USB drive which you can load files to using the USB cable connected to the computer. The Wii Boy project began in 2016 for the BitBuild Summer Modding Competition. The case was built using a real DMG that was Franken-cased and painted. The Wii Boy Rev 3 is designed in SolidWorks and 3D printed using the nylon and powder printing services from Shapeways. 3D printing gives me the advantage to fully plan out the internals with screw posts and make modifications to the case like stereo speakers and good shoulder buttons. The Wii Boy Rev 3 is highly integrated with 7 different custom PCBs to make the internals neater and feature packed. The PCBs were designed in KiCad and fab from OSH Park and JLC PCB. I used a solder stencil along with solder paste and hot air to assemble the boards. The audio PCB uses an LM49450 digital I2S audio amplifier for the highest audio quality since it bypasses the digital to analog converter. The PIC microcontroller communicates to the audio amp over I2C for setting the I2S mode and controlling the volume. My favorite part is how the speakers make contact without any solder and the headphones jack is on the PCB. This eliminates a lot of hand wiring. The USB-C power delivery is made using the STUSB 4500IC which autonomously handles the power delivery negotiation. The chip takes a complex feature and makes it very easy to integrate. In addition, there is a USB data multiplexer for switching the USB drive seamlessly between the USB-C port and the Wii. The batteries make contact using the clips which slide into the case. Only a few drops of glue are used to route wires between the Wii and PCBs in the whole portable. Everything else is mechanically secured using screws which make it cleaner and easier to assemble if ever needed to repair. The Wii Boy is powered on and off by holding the power switch for one second. Tapping the switch changes the multifunction RGB LED between modes off, RGB slow fade, battery level indicator, and shipping mode. When the battery is low, the function automatically changes to the battery monitor to warn you to charge the device. When the device is powered down in shipping mode, it cannot be turned on again until you plug in the charger preventing it from melting in a box. When the charger is plugged in, the function LED changes to a slow fading red mode to indicate it is charging. It also has a thermal probe on the Wii motherboard which shuts down the system if it reaches 75 Celsius, though it shouldn't ever get that hot in normal circumstances. The Wii Boy has been my most long term project and I still have more plans with it. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, please check out the BitBuild forums for portabilizing resources.